30,000 jewelers in Las Vegas. A pretty big shock for someone who's worked alone the last 10 years. People come from all over the world to deal diamonds, find jewelry, and my personal favorite, tools. JCK is the largest jewelry show in America, and I've attended exactly zero times. That is, until now. Before we dive in, I'm super excited to announce my latest jewelry drop, the Keeper Collection. Stick around to learn more. Until then, this is Las Vegas. So instead of losing all my money gambling, I walked around recording all of that footage. So I hope you enjoyed it. I wanna do a quick recap of my trip because there might be some people watching this video wondering whether or not it's worth it to attend JCK. So I'm gonna lay out the pros and cons of going, at least from my perspective. If you aren't interested in hearing about Vegas, feel free to jump ahead in the time code and you can learn more about my latest jewelry drop. Now for the pros. Pro number one, JCK has all of my vendors in the same place. And these vendors are pretty much the services that I use to help run Modern Goldsmith. So we got to see Stoller, Asiga, GRS, Jewelers Mutual, Parcel Pro, Rio Grande, just to name a few. And although I already have like relationships with these companies, just being able to meet them face to face and go over my needs is just like way better than trying to do the same thing over the phone. Pro number two, JCK is great at finding new vendors. Like whatever your specific needs are for your jewelry business, you can find them there. So for example, for me, I specifically wanted to increase my lab grown diamond contacts and they had like this entire section just for lab grown diamonds. I was able to meet these companies in person, ask them questions about their ethics, sustainability, inventory and pricing, et cetera, et cetera. Pro number three is definitely the tool demonstrations. So goldsmithing's tools are very, very expensive and JCK can help tremendously when deciding like what to invest in. Like you wanna try a laser welder, done. Laser engraver, done. Microscopes, wanna browse casting machines, by the way, I found my dream casting machine. It definitely looks like a, like a cockpit in an airplane, like just incredible. So basically all the latest and greatest um, jewelry technology can be experienced at JCK. Bonus pro, did I mention that uh, JCK is in Las Vegas? And it's a great opportunity to like network with people in the industry. And there are so many good restaurants like Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen, Gordon Ramsay's Pub and Grill, Gordon Ramsay's Fish and Chips, and Gordon Ramsay ripoff restaurants from Bobby Flay and Guy Fieri. The list goes on. There are so many high-end shopping opportunities in Vegas and like the strip is just absolutely breathtaking at night. Now for the cons, con number one, attending was quite expensive. Like I was only there for three days and between traveling, the hotels, the $350 registration fee, food, it cost me roughly two grand and I was doing it the frugal way. Like I didn't spend a single dollar on gambling, no adult beverages, concerts, like none of that. My biggest splurge was I did, I did spend <laughs> the first night um, at the Bellagio. Uh, yeah, that Bellagio. Next two nights were spent at the Best Western. <laughs> and let's just say that it was definitely a tale of um, two Vegases. Like on one, I was living the rich and fancy lifestyle. And then the second tale is just the poor frugal lifestyle. And um, one was obviously much, much better. <laughs> so when you go, make sure you budget accordingly. It is quite expensive, even doing it frugally. Con number two was that the show layout was very hard to navigate. Like considering how many vendors and people attending, like, I don't really know how they could have done it any better. Like there was these sort of like NPC helpers who could like point you in the right direction. They were super helpful. They also had like all the sections numbered off. 
That being said, it was just like a very confusing labyrinth and I found myself constantly trying to like figure out where I was. And maybe I'm just like a little bit dumb, but like multiple occasions, I had people coming up to me and asking me like, do you know where the bathrooms are? Do you know where the exit is? Like people were asking me and I was just like a normal person walking around. So I imagine it wasn't just me who was like super lost half the time. Third con, sometimes certain booths were just way too crowded and there weren't like enough people at like working the booth to like meet with you. So some of them, I didn't even bother to like try to talk to them, but there were a couple like booths that I like really wanted to talk to them, but I found myself like circling back and circling back and checking to see if they were free because they were always just super busy. There was also like kind of this unspoken like elitism there. Like I felt like I didn't experience the entire, there were like these like invitation only events, these invitation only dinners. There was also like this private Katy Perry concert. Like there was definitely like this higher tier that I didn't really get to experience. <laughs> I guess you could say I was kind of like Leo in the Titanic, you know, I was like, I was at the bottom and I never got my proverbial rose moment. And for my last bonus con, JCK is in Vegas. <laughs> now I know I just said all those like really great things about Vegas, but it's also like a really terrible place to be during the day. Like it's so dry and so hot. Thankfully I found like this one casino that had all of these like misting towers that were just shoot, shooting mist everywhere. That was actually a, a nice little treat. You definitely want to stay inside all day. So for my final verdict, is it worth it to attend JCK? Most definitely. Like, yeah. However, I don't really see this as being like an every year expense slash requirement for me personally. Like it was a great experience, one that I hope to repeat in the future. I just can't imagine going next year every year. It was just kind of like maybe a every few years kind of thing. And now, it is our pleasure to introduce the Keeper Collection. A set of three delicate ring designs made by Modern Goldsmith, using recycled 14 karat yellow gold. Lab-grown diamonds. And seed pearls. The previous jewelry drop only featured one ring. The vintage thrift store ring restoration. This time, we wanted to give more people the opportunity to own a Modern Goldsmith ring. So instead of just one ring, 27 will be made. To submit an application, simply visit the link down in the description below. Choose your favorite ring and name your price. The 27 highest offers will be selected. The purpose of these jewelry drops is to not only allow you the chance to own a beautiful creation, but the funds collected from your generous offers will be used to further the artistic mission of Modern Goldsmith, which includes these YouTube videos. Videos as fulfilling as a Gordon Ramsay Michelin star restaurant. We are incredibly grateful for your support. And now, it is time to learn more about the Keeper Collection. The two gem Keeper Ring. A seed pearl and nestled diamond. You are the Keeper. The Protector. Safeguarding the things most precious to you. A loved one. A child. Your mental health. The body and soul. Whatever it may be, it lives near you. Always. The Three Gem Keeper Ring. One tenth carat center diamond, flanked by seed pearls. This is a promise ring. You, or someone you love, is a literal keeper. Keeper, as in something not to be lost. Ever. Lastly, the Five Gem Keeper Ring. Seed pearls in graduating sizes. This ring represents journey, nostalgia, melancholy, the intangible things we keep with us, our core memories, the beautiful ones, close to our hearts and minds. Introducing the patron plaque. So in the past, I used to use this map to like put a little red dot on every single city, every single place where I've sent custom jewelry in the past. And it was just like a really fun way to kind of track like everywhere that I've sent my custom jewelry. But now I am transitioning into something new. I made this plaque, which I am calling the patron plaque. And this is going to live like basically right above my workbench. So whenever I'm working, I can always look up and see the names of those people who literally make my career possible. And I do have more space for future jewelry jobs. And I just wanted to say that if you're not able to make an offer on a ring at this time. Like I am just so grateful that you're even here. Um, thank you so much for watching this video and may we all be as happy 
as that wizard um, <laughs> on the uh, Vegas slot machine.